Method decides to do, are they going to play it safe? Like we saw Temple Storm. Raikou just sits back with the support of Chaz. They crowd control, they wait till dampening, they wait till their damage is too overwhelming for Daily Feed to really deal with. Rezus and Drainer, they're going to be moving in. Loveless in a secure position behind the pillar as they sort of clump up. Waz still waiting himself. Gets a nice little sap on Rezus. Who's he going to open up on? I'm really wondering why Method Black feel confident with this Rogue Mage after seeing how well Warrior Mage worked. I don't know if Drainer is running the Spirit Link talent either. We haven't seen him activate it just yet, I don't believe. They're starting to cross the map. Waz is not going to be able to get a sap, obviously, at this point. He's still trying to, but ultimately has to go for a cheap shot. Raikou backs him up. Good crowd control from Method Black early on. Loveless trying to get away from the initial attack, but being locked down. Rezu's breaking up some of the crowd control, but Waz follows it up with a sap. Good chains to so far from Method Black. Now the blind to try and force a trinket. This is a cooldown overlap from the team of Daily Feed. They got the Veiled Eye proc there. There's a lot of cooldowns out of the way just from the initial attack, and that's going to be devastating moving forward. Yeah, it could definitely be scary for Daily Feed. Drainer did trade out his trinket on the blind, but that's normally a fair trade. Waz taking a little bit of damage right now. Keep in mind, Waz and the Assassination Rogue is going to be much less tanky than we saw Nixie on that Arms Warrior. So this is a good target for Rezus and Loveless to make sure they're putting a lot of pressure on throughout this game. All right, Raikou has held on to his icy veins. If you see a smoke bomb drop, Loveless trinkets out immediately, desperately trying to get into the line of sight of his healer. Drainer places an earthen shield, but Chaz denies all of the defense with a perfectly timed Cyclone. Drainer repositioning to try and top him off. Rezus has been doing a great job breaking up the crowd controls in that assault. He used Incapacitate to deny a follow-up Cyclone from Chaz, broke up the chain and allowed a stressful situation for Drainer to become a much more tolerable one. We see a stun onto Waz as Daily Feet have been focusing him. Most of this match. Chaz has Iron Bark to trade, but he's actually just using Cyclones quite a lot. He's getting very aggressive. I'm curious if Daily Feet are going to look to punish that anytime soon. Yeah, Loveless and Rezus are in a kind of a peculiar situation where they can't really go on Raikou because if they do, they overextend their position, allowing Chaz to get the Cyclones out in the match and really stall out the game, control them. It makes it difficult for them to do damage, so they just have to go on Waz. It's really the only viable target for them unless they can get a big swap potentially on Chaz, but I just don't see that really working out for them. Eventually, they just need to make sure Waz doesn't have the evasion. They catch him in a stun, no feint, and they can take him down very, very quickly. But for now, uh, I think it's going to be a slow game. All right, Method Black got a ton of cooldowns at the start of this game, but basically that situation is completely reset. Unless they can get something going in about the next 10 seconds, they're desperately trying to make a move. Triple crowd control initiated. They need to find a kill in this. Will they? I don't think they will. Trainer preemptively earth and shield totemed. Loveless is not locked down. He can easily heal, so they're going to have to abandon that kill attempt, looking to crowd control Loveless and Rezu slow down the pressure and look for a longer kill into dampening. Obviously with two hybrids, Loveless and Rezus can toss out some off healing. It's going to be very difficult for Method Black to find a kill unless they stunlock the entire team or they have dampening assisting them by reducing healing. Waz still trying to lead the charge and find an opportunity here. Good Cyclone from Chaz. Loveless actually trading his Astral Shift. It's a fair trade for Waz's Vendetta going one for one. Really no openings right now for Method Black. Yeah, Waz used his Trinket. He has no Vanish. Evasion is really the only thing keeping him alive. The main kill opportunity for Daily Feed in this matchup, like we've seen before, with Windwalker Monks, is that Serenity cooldown. Waz taking a whole bunch of bursts, though. Big Rising Sun Kick coming in from Rezus. Doesn't want to have to trade out that Evasion, but there's the Touch of Death. Big amount of bursts going to be incoming. Chaz looking to deflect it with that Iron Bark. Should be enough damage reduction to keep Waz alive. Now, uh, Method Black turning their attention to Loveless, putting a little pressure on him with a Kidney Shot, but doesn't look like Waz wants to overextend especially now that he has no trinket available to him. I'm really curious what compositions Method Black pay, played into Daily Feed the last time that they met. I would have almost assumed that they played Rogue Mage as well, and they lost that series, although it was close, 3-2. to two. So it still seems strange to me that they led this series off with Rogue Mage. They're slowly but surely falling behind. Waz getting bursted down. Chaz fake cast the wind shear. Really nice read there by Chaz. Rezus is trying to follow up with an incapacitate. That manages to pull evasion from Waz, so... His primary defensive cooldown is now out of the way. That is an opening for Daily Feed. Ultimately, though, Chaz is doing a much better job on mana management, and they are marching ahead on that front. Loveless retreating back on the pillar, waiting for Drainer to leave crowd control as their team reconvenes. They've got an opening. Waz with no trinket and very limited defensives. 
It's likely to continue to be the case. Chaz trades out Ironbark, another defensive out of the way. As Spirit Wolves are available in another 35 seconds, Loveless is waiting for that offensive cooldown. Yeah, Waz needs to make sure he always has a Vanish or an Evasion up for that Serenity. If he doesn't, then he's going to be a dead rogue. So have to wait for that. Drainer now caught into the full blind with the Kidney Shot on Loveless. Drainer actually preemptively trinketed before the blind, so that doesn't line up quite well. Do they have any follow-ups? You see a nice Bash coming in from Chaz. Does he have the follow-up Cyclone? Uh, looks like Polymorph's going to come in from Raikou. Waz is trying to put some pressure on Loveless, but they just don't have no damage. Drainer sat a full blind into a bash, into a full poly, and Loveless is almost 100% HP. Yeah, Enhancement Shaman, the benefit over Elemental is that their healing surges are instant cast. It costs Maelstrom, which would they, they would like to use on damage, but before dampening, it's so unlikely that you're going to get a kill that it's just better priority to use your resources on healing and try to extend the match. Unfortunately, they're not winning on mana, which is the ultimate goal in a long game, so they are going to need to eventually start looking for drinks or getting a bit more aggressive if they want to start tying up the mana between between Chaz and Drainer. Waz in the meantime has Vendetta and Smoke Bomb. Drainer has no trinket. They could maybe make a Shadow Step swap over to him, drop Smoke Bomb to deny the support from his team, but they've only got 11 more seconds to do that before Drainer can trinket out, and they're just falling behind. Waz is taking immense pressure. Nice crowd control on Chaz. Waz dips down to about half, but now recovers immediately back to full. Well timed Swiftman from Chaz saves the day. Raikou trying to get something going here. Polymorph secured on Drainer. Loveless is just tanking it out. Drainer has used preemptive Earth and Shield totems on, I don't know, maybe the past four out of the six Polymorph attempts, and that's critical as a Restoration Shaman. You can't use that defensive cooldown when you're already crowd controlled. You have to predict it, see it coming, activate it a second before it happens, and then you can tank a crowd control chain very easily as a result. That defense is now faded, so Loveless will trade his personal defensives for the Vendetta of Waz, and that's a trade that's always going to happen throughout the match and it's it's less likely to occur deeper into dampening when you need defense outside of cooldowns more often drainer is still just falling behind and that's i think ultimately going to be the story of the match outside of waz kind of just getting destroyed by a serenity i don't see any openings right now for daily feet yeah it, it really is difficult as, as long as method black doesn't make a mistake in this matchup i think they should win it for residues it's just so difficult with the positioning method black has chaz is sitting far back for the most part right now he gets caught into an end cap actually they make a swap over onto him He's going to be okay. Rezus really doesn't have too much offense, but Chaz opting to trade out his trinket there, so that could be an opportunity for Daily Feet a little bit later on. That next Serenity, Chaz has no trinket, and they can connect. They can absolutely take him down. In the meantime, the Loveless taking some damage. Ray of Frost going to be channeled up by Raikou. Loveless gets topped off. He's going to be fine. Like you said, Sid, that Enhancement Shaman healing is quite powerful. All right, Loveless is baited. Waz behind the pillar, trying to burst him down out of line of sight of his healer, Chaz. Chaz has to reposition, and I think swapping to Chaz is great right now. He's got no trinket, so he can't get out of a leg sweep or a cap totem. He's been playing aggressive with Cyclones, and usually when a druid starts doing that to your team, you should switch targets to him, try and deny Cyclones, catch him off guard when he's not out of bear form looking for crowd control. That's definitely an opening that Daily Feed should look to exploit, moving deeper into dampening. Now that we've set to about almost 20%, this is usually when things gets a little bit more interesting when cooldowns are going to be forced outside of their typical windows. Loveless will likely have to use Astral Shift before Vendetta. Then when Vendetta has arrived, he's not going to have it to trade. And it's going to be a very scary situation for him to make it out alive. The pressure right now for Method Black is starting to set in with all three members low on health. Drainer has cooldowns to trade, but he's being greedy, trying to hold on to them for a deeper dampening point. We see a swap from Waz moving towards Drainer, trying to focus him down here. Raikou's got Blizzard snaring him in place, trying to peel for the Ooh, swap Chaz. on Chaz. The blind on the trinket of Rezus unfortunately breaks, which means Chaz could still be in a lot of trouble. Touch of Death is about to go off. Will he make it to safety? He's just desperately trying to get out of line side, but Drainer was playing aggressive in that moment. He's going to have to trade Spirit Link Totem, trying to get some purges. Obviously, Drainer was falling behind on mana, so it's up to them to be the aggressors if they want to win this. Yeah, Chaz didn't quite top himself off yet. Yeah, Drainer's on top of him. Loveless as well. Should be fine in the bear form. You can see Waz and Raikou in a good position. That was a nicely placed water elemental for Chaz to make an escape to. Nicely done. Kidney shot now on Drainer. And as we get higher and higher in dampening, you can see Drainer falling behind on mana. I'm not sure if he's throwing out offensive purges that are really taxing his mana, but it's going to become more difficult as the game goes on. Raikou getting swapped to now, but he still has both ice blocks. They really haven't been able to put too much pressure out on him. He's going to pull back, retreat back to his resto druid. 
throw out the polymorphs, and this is the problem. Rezus, now that he's in the middle of the map, Chaz can go crazy with the Cyclones and really slow down all their pressure. Now he's kind of caught in this situation. Yeah, and Chaz has his trinket now to get out of stun lock, so that opening for daily feed is lost. Drainer spent a lot of mana in that aggressive push and is now basically running on fumes. He's caught into a kidney shot. They're trying to punish him for being in the middle of the map. Let's see if he ends up going down here. He's got to get back out of line of sight of Raikou. He's making his way to the pillar. He's traded out Ascendance and Healing Tide, so those three-minute cooldowns are unlikely to reset. Desperately trying to make whoa, whoa. it happen on Waz. Unfortunately, they were maybe one. <laughs> they needed a couple more damage points to be able to finish him off. That actually could have been a kill. It would have been a bit of a fluke, so Waz almost throwing the game away there, but he does survive. Now there's an opening, though, with no evasion and no cloak. Here They've got is. crowd control on Serenity. Chess, but will he make it out alive is the question. Looks like he's not even taking a point of damage from the Serenity right now. Loveless is actually the one on the back foot, and this is the trade. He has to make use Astral Shift before Vendetta, which is available now in five seconds. Waz sees that's open. If they can bait Loveless to Trinket, they still have Smoke Bomb. And that's basically a free kill if they can lock Loveless in a Smoke Bomb with Vendetta. Yeah, Waz could still be in a little trouble. Rezus actually Trinkets out of the Kidney Shot there. All over him. Touch of Death. Full blind on Rezus. Waz realizing he's in so much trouble. Has the uh, Vanish, but doesn't want to trade it out just yet. Touch of Death's about to tick. Oh. Gets lower and lower. Chaz really taxing his mana right now. Trying to keep Waz alive. Finally trades out that Vanish. Drainer almost completely oom as well. There's a full Polymorph on Drainer. Loveless could be in some trouble. Vendetta gets activated by Waz. He's looking to close this game out. Take down Loveless. Drainer still in CC. No trade available. Ray of Frost. And that's it at 36% dampening. Method Black is able to strike first blood in this matchup. And this is like the average dampening. Ten of you guys in chat think that Method Black is going to be able to take this. Will they be able to find this map and go up in this series and find themselves on match point? Curious if uh, Drainer's team is just going to go all out aggression. It seems like they're going for the strategy that Zico alluded to in the pre match, going after Raikou, trying to focus him down rather than Waz. In the meantime, Method Black have gotten triple crowd control. Drainer activating that astral shift right before the kidney shot, immuning a lot of that incoming pressure basically and negating that entire setup by Method Black. That was a nice move by Drainer. He's been making phenomenal predictions on Method Black's targeting. Chaz now getting swapped to, taking immense pressure early on from Daily Feed. Is he gonna choke? He jumps to Raikou, he's trying to get away. Drainer's on top of him, spamming Purge. Whoa. It's an all-in strategy from the team of Daily Feed, but Loveless gets peeled away. Drainer trinkets Polymorph to go all-in. He gets bashed on the trinket, but it does not seem like they are going to leave up right now blind on Rezus with no trinket but touch of death is still about to go off Loveless is still on target Chaz doesn't have very much to stay alive Drainer's right on top of him Chaz at 10% is still hanging on trying to jump back to Raikou Rezus comes out of the polymorph he's gonna connect Chaz the live lord stays alive that was beautiful kiting from Chaz, waiting till Rezus was in crowd control to run back over to him. Uh, Raikou did a good job getting Loveless and Drainer in a Nova, so Chaz could finally get some heal over time effects rolling. But Chaz in the leg sweep, he's still in so much trouble. No Barfkin for another four seconds. Iron Bark about to come up. He's going to be mashing that button to keep himself alive. Nice CC coming in from Waz and Raikou, though. The control of that rogue mage really paying dividends here for Method Black. And the thing is, Drainer's been using his defensive cooldowns to stay aggressive, so he's burned through a lot more than he did in the previous game, but he knows what's going to happen in dampening. Loveless is going to have to use Astral Shift before Vendetta. Vendetta's going to come up, and Loveless is going to die. They have to end the game before that point happens, so I don't really blame Drainer for trying to go all in and aggressive. I really can't blame them at all. It was a good strategy. They almost took Chaz down. Chaz now looking for Cyclone over on the Rezus. You can see it looks like Waz is trying to continue this pressure onto the Enhancement Shaman of Loveless. They really just seem to be going all over the place. And look at Waz. He's constantly going for these restealths. So he gets a stun on the target, and then he waits to get a restealth. And when he does that, that gives him an opportunity to move in, get cheap shots out on the enemy team, get garrotes on the enemy team, which is going to control them and also give their team additional damage. So it's a very smart play he's making. All right, Loveless caught in a kidney shot. Drainer in a polymorph. Drainer constantly using these defensive cooldowns to predict attacks. Unfortunately, that was not one directed at him. Desperately trying to stay on Chaz. Waz looking to try and get a sneaky re-stealth at the top of the tomb, but not able to find it just yet. Having to trade Vanish now to get in stealth. Drainer in a clone. Poly on Rezus. Good crowd control from the team of Method Black, but no damage just yet going towards Loveless. The game is kind of like in a reset state now. Uh, Chaz is going to have his trinket before the next leg sweep. Drainer's gotten his trinket back. Everybody is kind of... The game is pretty much reset. The only real impact that all of this whole uh, tunnel Chaz strategy has had is uh, that Chaz mana has been getting heavily taxed. So daily feed 
they're going to have a little bit of an advantage moving forward uh, when Davening kicks in. Yeah, one of the interesting things with that all-in strat on Chaz was it did make that brief opportunity. It looked like on the other side as well, where Loveless was really getting chunked down. But you got to say, Daily Feed looks like they really came out on top from that exchange because of Chaz's mana. We've been talking about just how strong Shamans are, just how strong Druids are. It's kind of because they're never-ending Energizer bunnies. They tend to have mana throughout pretty much the entirety of the game. Is Drainer really going to be favored here, Vin? Well, Chaz, he's sitting down for a drink right now. That's one of the advantages of having that stealth form kitty cat when, you know, Loveless and Rezus are not putting pressure on Raikou and Waz. Chaz can comfortably go for those Shadow Mel drinks. That's and, a full reset. Yeah, get a full <laughs> reset. That is a hard reset. If we were in reset before, folks, we just reset the reset of the, the reset. The gates have opened. We have opened. <laughs> 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 we'll be a bit closer to dampening. <laughs> All right. Drainer trading cooldowns once again. Going one for one on that Frozen Orb with Earthen Shield Totem. A classic trade between a Restoration Shaman and a Frost Mage. Waz not having too many opportunities for another minute, roughly, to do really any significant burst damage. Drainer repositioning. It looks like he may just try and Ooh. play it patient, hold on to his mana. Nope, they're just going to go on to Chaz with an incapacitate leg sweep, wombo combo, classic setup here with all three members dogpiling on Chaz. Not enough damage really to scare him too much. He's going to jump to Raikou's side, kite away as Method Black look to try and reverse some pressure. They get crowd control secured on Drainer. Loveless is likely to just retreat back behind the tombstone, catching a couple of healing surges by himself. He is likely to survive. They are desperately trying to chase him down, but I feel it's unlikely to kill Loveless in this situation yeah. despite great crowd control. I, I mean, it's deja vu there. We we call out the reset, then we see the same strat from Daily Feed. We see the same return of pressure from Meta Black. The only difference this time around, Zico, is Meta Black is just, they're ready for it. Yeah, I mean, even now, like, Raikou was in much better position here, managing to get those sheeps out onto Rezus when he actually was going for that setup. So uh, they're going to force out Rezus Trinket offensively there, but not too much is going to come out of that swap other than the Bark Skin, of course. Uh, I think I think the big story here is that I think Rezus and Loveless should have tried to do these attacks onto Raikou because the Ice Block is a five-minute cooldown. So if they force one of those, before dampening, he's not going to have that in dampening, and that's actually going to be a sizable advantage. Whereas if you even force Chess's trinket, that's such a short cooldown, it's going to come back up before you can really use it. And that was one of the main things that you said the small map could do in Daily Feed's favor, make Raikou a viable kill target. Now, before we got into this game, then you talked in detail, really, about how Frost Mage is going to operate. But we didn't get to hear from you quite as much about how the Monk is going to operate. You're also playing Monk at the highest level as well. And yesterday, you really did allude to how some of the changes did work, how Monk is going to be quite different in BFA than it is in Legion. Yeah, there's no question about it. The incapacitate, that paralysis, as well as the leg sweep have a little bit longer of a cooldown, don't have the Fist of Fury stun. The Serenity really is that tool that Windwalk Monks have to put out that huge burst pressure that we've seen throughout this game. But Method Black knows it. When Rezu has the Serenity available, they play it incredibly patiently. It's actually kind of a, was actually a scary moment potentially for Loveless. He had no Trinket, no Astral Shift, uh, no Trinket proc. Waz had the Vendetta, but still, Method Black not able to find the pressure at this point in the game. Um, Raikou has Priest Tier 3 shoulders equipped. Has he been bidding on Tier 3 on the tournament server? Because I haven't seen anyone else. Look at that. See that? I'm so <laughs> glad somebody else that? pays attention to the Mogs <laughs> because th this has been... Transmog has been all over the place. We've had quite a lot of time to actually inspect these players. You know, you get to 30% dampening. At some point, you're going to notice what someone's wearing, you know? And we have seen the most all around... I, I, I feel like a good buddy of mine is watching this tournament right now going, wrong belt. Look, yeah, he has Priest tier three shoulders right there, but not nothing else from the set. He has gone to the black market on the tournament server and bought those. Literally with no competition there. He's got swaps here. <laughs> he's, not, he's got a lot of downtime. <laughs> this is really, this is one of the tournaments where we've seen Raikou play the most, which really is crazy. Rogue Mage almost seeming like it wasn't Method Black's main cover. Raikou getting chunked down. Yeah, once again, Serenity coming in from Rezus. A lot of pressure, and this is what Zico was talking about. If they can force out the Ice Block, it's a big victory because of the long cooldown that it has. Loveless and Rezus will be able to rotate through their short offensive cooldowns where Raikou eventually runs out of defense if they can continue this pressure. In addition to that, if they can stay on Raikou, they can slow down his casted spells. He doesn't get to get those blizzards out to reset the Frozen Orb, doesn't get to build up the Icicles and the Flurries um, with casting Frostbolt, so it is an effective way to really limit the amount of damage damage method black can do. 
I really like uh, Waz's targeting decision here. He knows that Drainer doesn't have Astral Shift for a few more seconds, so he's trying to soften him up and bait more cooldowns, and he managed to bait an Earthen Shield Totem. Now he's looking to try and force a Trinket as he switches targets to Loveless. Raikou under a lot more fire in this game. Temporal Shield bouncing him back, but Mana is actually in favor of Daily Feed. They're still pressuring Drainer. They're trying to bait a Trinket and then blind him later. Will they be able to bait it? Doesn't seem like they have enough damage to get the Trinket from Drainer. He's going to start to restabilize. Raikou caught into a leg sweep. They really need to start forcing Ice box, the ice Blocks at this point. The Drainer step kick. Nice play from Waz. Catching Drainer off guard. Forcing another Astral Shift trade during that Vendetta. But he is slowly but surely recovering back behind the pillar. Raikou just unable to get in line of sight. Chaz going for a drink in the middle of the arena. Does nobody see him? I guess nobody sees him. He's going to bounce back to a huge mana lead. Yep, doing quite well on mana. Those consistent drinks coming in from Chaz are really allowing his team to stay in the fight for much longer than we'd normally see. Loveless down to around 50% HP. Watts doesn't have the vendetta for a little while, so not huge offensive capabilities coming in from Method Black just yet. Raikou has the Icy Veins on cooldown as well. Loveless and Rezu still just trying to slow Raikou down the best they can. What you're really looking for is this exact situation. Raikou, no Iron Bark available from Chaz. Rezu has a Serenity up, but once again, uptime just so limited with appeals coming in from Method Black. Raikou doing an excellent job kiting. Waz getting the key restealth that he needs so we can get those cheap shots consistently on Rezu and Loveless to slow them down. Yeah, it seems like Waz is just going to be 1v1ing Drainer for the rest of the game at this point. And let's see how well Drainer can deal with that pressure. Raikou's just going to blink on top whenever he can during these stun lock combos, preferably. He's in a great position to potentially net a kill on Drainer. Great stun locks onto him. One Riptide caught. He's trying to hold on to Spirit Link Totem. He doesn't want to trade it in this position where there's no Icy Veins and no Vendetta, and I think it's a smart move. He's going to need that massive defensive cooldown to survive later on. The cooldowns are in favor of Daily Feed in this situation. At this point in dampening, Loveless had no Astral Shift, and that was a huge kill window for Method Black, but now he does have it, so he can play a lot more aggressive. Yeah, incapacitate over onto Chaz. Waz having to shadow step away. He's under a lot of pressure right now. Faint going to be used as well, but Loveless and Rezu's there. You can see Raikou just trying to control up the enemy team with the Polymorphs full Kidney shot now on Loveless. Sheer on Chaz. Waz still could be in some trouble, but there's the full Polymorph secured on Drainer. He can't drink it out before the blind. Loveless forced to trade out the Astral Shift. Finally, some pressure rolling for Method Black, but the tank trinket will proc. Touch of death now on Waz. He's in a lot of trouble. Preemptively activates the feint before the leg sweep, but still just taking so much burst. Touch of death connects. He gets lower and lower, trying to shadow step away and kite the best he can. Manages to finally escape. Loveless been taking a lot of pressure from Raikou in the meantime. Look at that little red icon below Waz his health frame. That's Vendetta. Look at the little yellow and purple one below Loveless. That's Astral Shift. Loveless doesn't have it, and Waz does. That's the kill opportunity for Method Black. That's what nailed them the kill in game number one, and the same situation is about to happen. Drainer needs to be the one to save the day. <laughs> Once again, Chaz sitting down for a drink. He's just been resetting his mana pool, and Daily Feet have not been doing the best job of stopping it. They had a huge mana lead, and they just keep losing it. And moving deeper into dampening, there's still a 37-second window. Here it is, Kidney Shot on Loveless. They need crowd control on Drainer at the same time. Doesn't seem like they're able to find it, unfortunately. And luckily, though, they didn't commit the Vendetta. They still have 27 seconds to try and make something happen with this next Kidney Shot. Waz pre-faints the leg sweep, but dampening is very hot. These kill over time effects not doing too much. He's forced to trade out of Evasion. Drainer caught to a polymorph. This is easily an opportunity for Waz. He sees it. Loveless as well, just retreating away. Unfortunately, Waz was not able to lock Loveless in place. Now this Vendetta kill has been kited. Great play from Loveless at this point. Will it matter, though? Drainer caught to a Cyclone, blinded on his trinket, but he managed to get the Spear Link Totem. Will that even be enough? Waz keeps the chain going for one second longer. Is that one second going to be enough? Doesn't appear to be the case. Drainer's done it. This is the situation that they lost in game one. They've managed to survive it. Now they've got a massive kill potential onto Waz if they can restabilize. Yeah, they used every single defensive cooldown, and at 43% dampening, Drainer on that Wrestle Trump's going to have a difficult time topping off Loveless. There's the full Polymorph. Do they have the damage to take down Loveless? I don't think he has a chance of living this. How is he going to survive? Leg sweep over on Waz. Rez is trying to counter pressure with the Serenity. Waz getting lower and lower, just wants to stay on target. But he gets, oh, oh, and he gets <laughs> smoked by a huge rising sun kick, and that was the opportunity Rezus was looking for. 45% dampening, and this series is interesting. Now, now I want to see that happen. It's a Cinderella story. That's not where I was going. <laughs> We're talking about transmog. Now they need to put those in the game. Would you transmog to glass slippers? I would. Would you? What if you only got one? I didn't let you know, man. I'm a troll. I don't even have slippers. I think I... Sid's a troll, too. <laughs> Chas is going to delete that. 
Ooh. Okay, they're gonna start with an all-in or maybe a split strategy oh. as Rezus is just soloing Chaz. Loveless is trying to back him up but not able to get there in time. And this seems to be the strategy for Daily Feed. Start out with all-out aggression on Chaz. See what you can do. Maybe you get lucky. Maybe he makes a mistake. But in this situation, it's all been equivalent exchange and Chaz is not too far behind. Well, here's the thing. Rezus, once done, leg soup on a minute cooldown. Chaz, he has the Iron Bark on a minute cooldown. So they need to somehow force Bark Skin or just kill him through Bark Skin if they want to actually end up taking Chaz down. Otherwise, he's going to be able to make that equal trade every single time. And that's what I'm saying. If Waz and Raikou are there to really help out, it's just so difficult for Daily Fee to take this wrestler down. Now, Chaz drank about 38 times during the last game. Is there as much potential on this map, Zico, for Chaz to be able to sneak in those, those cheeky little sips? Way more potential, actually. The map is way bigger. He has a lot more room to work with. Raikou's going to have a bigger distance where he can apply those slows. And right now we're going to see a setup happen, but it's going to get deflected pretty easily uh, by Chaz's healing and that Cloak of Shadows on Waz. Um, I, I honestly wonder if Chaz should just play Relentless, as I feel like a big reason to why people end up dying on Method Black is because he's playing that Trinket. I think if he plays Relentless, they don't, the team of Daily Fear don't even have enough stun locks to actually kill him in uh, stun into stun. Yeah, I mean, it is true. I mean, the leg sweep is just such a limited amount of time for them to actually take someone down. So playing the relentless definitely could be good. But at the same time, if you get caught a little bit low into a full stun, it can be devastating. I mean, it's not a great way to lose the game. It's It can be risky, but I think, like you're saying, Zico, it definitely could pay off uh, for Chaz in the long run if they wanted to play that route. And I'm interested to hear what you think about uh, Raikou's talents, Zico. It seems like he's given up a lot of potential offense, getting rid of that Ice Nova, and he's playing that big Blizzard once again, the instant cast Blizzard you get from the Frozen Orb. Do you think that is an appropriate talent, given the situation? Uh, well, we saw Alec do a similar thing, actually, against uh, this uh, particular team. And, uh, oh, wait, wait, is Waz going to... Okay, no, they're just going to get the tank again. Um, yeah, so I think that it's an interesting thing that we've seen more and more of these high-rated mages do. We saw Alec do it in the series against the Daily Feed, and now we see uh, Raikou do it as well. And I think Raikou's role, more than anything here, is to just control the game, make sure that he is annoying everybody on the side of Daily Feed, slowing the momentum down, making sure that no one really can move without having that 65% uh, slow from the Blizzard. So I think it's intelligent, the Ice Nova, it's nice. You can you can stop the Windwalker in his tracks when he's rolling around and stuff like that. Uh, and the extra burst can be nice at times as well. But honestly, I would like to see Raikou uh, stick with this build and then maybe even play Glacial for the extra route. I could see Glacial maybe being all right. It's not like they can even really target him in yeah, the game. Yeah, he's casting. He'd be able to free cast, and that might give them a little bit more oomph to force a cooldown without Vendetta, which is exactly what they need to do to win the match. We see a double leg sweep here from Daily Feet, trying to set up for some potentially devastating damage, but Chaz in a position to just immediately heal all of it back. There was no crowd control used onto him, and now he's reversing it with a polymer secured now into Drainer. Loveless could be a bit of trouble. He's going to just healing surge himself and make his way back to Drainer's side so that as soon as Drainer gets out of crowd control, he can start rip toddying him as soon as possible. And it seems like Loveless is easily going to support himself throughout this crowd control, healing himself back to full. Drainer's out of the chain. Daily Feet are going to recover. As both teams reset. What I want to see from Daily Feed, if they want to consistently win, is stop Chaz from drinking. I mean, look at the situation right now. Drainer is basically full mana, and Chaz is the one who's behind. Good crowd control on the Innervate. Raikou could be in a bit of trouble, but with Temporal Shield activated, it's absorbing all of this damage, and then in, right there, it's going to explode and heal all of it back. Re really well timed by Raikou. Touch of Death available for Rezus, though, and that's an opening. I really think that the problem for uh, Daily Feed is that the, the only crowd control that they really have is the incapacitate. Now, if they incapacitate Chaz, then they have to connect to Raikou and pop Serenity and start doing damage. By the time they do that, uh, the incapacitate is almost already over. And it's the same thing when they go into oh. Waz, he's going to be, oh, and there's Chaz, is going to drink again and reset the game. Um, but if they, if they end up going on to Waz, and he's playing Human Relentless as well, it's it's so hard for them to actually get that pressure out and really force these cooldowns because you're going to have the Human Trinket for one leg sweep, and then the next one, the Tank Trinket is going to proc, and that's in, essentially an infinite rotation there. So I, I feel like the lack of CC 
it really, really hurts the comp of Daily Feed. I almost think that if Drainer was a Rested Druid, their comp would be able to go toe to toe with Method Black because on the side of Method Black, they don't have that much crowd control for a Rested Druid because of that assassination rogue. There aren't that many off stuns for the Rested Druid where Riker can get those polymorphs. Whereas with a Shaman, he can kind of fake out some of these interrupts and actually get those polymorphs by himself. So obviously, we've already talked about how Chaz is managing to sneak off quite a bit, getting a lot of these drinks as we start to see why is taking quite a bit of pressure but we also keep mentioning in general that resets are happening that it's essentially getting to this reset state in the game where it's almost like the gates have just opened for anyone at home right now who's kind of asking how this is possible that we keep kind of over and over again getting in this predicament of the players being able to reset the state of the game what is enabling then these players to kind of take that step back have everything come off of cooldown and, and enter fresh yet again halfway through the game, even late in dampening. All right, well, on the side of Daily Feed, uh, well, a little bit of action here. Kitty shot over onto Rez. It looks like Method Black might be trying to target him down. He needs to be careful. Tank Trick at Will Prox still has his touch of karma as well. I think Rez is in a fine situation here. But on the side of Daily Feed, you basically have a Resto Shaman of Drainer, who has essentially, uh, I mean, not infinite mana, but he's very good mana management in this game. Uh, and Loveless and Rezus, they just, they can't be putting out consistent pressure just from the control of uh, Raikou. So what Method Black needs to do is allow Chaz to drink, which can be easily done when Waz is running away and Raikou's just throwing out snares and polymorphs over and over and over. Yeah, that really, just to touch on what you just said there, Ra Raikou just keeps slowing Rezus and Loveless, and Waz just shadow steps away and just uses those Frost Mage slows to get himself that distance, and it's just making it very easy for him to actually get away every single time he gets targeted. He shadow steps away, and then all of a sudden, Raikou's going to drop that big blizzard, and then he, he just can't get reconnected on until he has that kidney shot. And they have to find these openings where Raikou, uh, sorry, where the chest doesn't have iron bark, Waz doesn't have trinket, and Rezus has his serenity. So it's it's a really slim win condition there for the Windwalker and the Enhance, and they need that dampening to really be able to execute it. Exactly, and Raikou just really is that guy right now. He's just being the most annoying person you've ever met, standing back, making it so you can't play the game, keeping people slowed up, and then he does wait for that opportunity. You can see right now, He's had Icy Veins, he's had Ray of Frost for a long time. He's waiting for that perfect moment to actually get that damage in, make it as effective as possible, because right now he doesn't need to be doing damage, he just needs to be annoying. Yeah, I mean, one team on Daily Feed, they do a lot of healing, and it prevents Method Black from getting a kill before dampening. Raikou just slows people, and Daily Feed can't move, so it's a stalemate between snares and off healing, and it really just requires deep dampening for either team to really connect enough damage to finish somebody off in this current meta. And that's why both teams are just focused on extending the match. If Daily Feed spend too long in the open, getting snared and not attacking, they're just taking free damage and, and expending Drainer's mana for nothing. So it's not worth their while to make a push until deeper dampening when they can execute for a kill. Now that we've moved into 20%, this is the point where they want to start forcing trinkets, evasions. Then when they get to 40%, after they've got evasion forced, that's when they're more likely to win the game. Yeah, Rez is going to be moving in, putting out some pressure. Nice double leg sweep. Uh, does he have the damage onto Waz? Serenity is going to be used. Waz uses the feint. That runs out. Tank Trick, it does proc. So just trying to kite once again. You can see Waz never turning his back to Rezus. Just trying to run away. Take advantage of the fact that he has Raikou on his team. He's throwing out those snares. Now Raikou gets a kidney shot on Loveless. Or sorry, Waz gets a kidney shot on Loveless. Raikou trying to put in some damage. Blind over on a Drainer. This is a nice setup from Method Black. Can they force out some cooldowns from Loveless? This is what Sid is saying. They need to get some cooldowns before the deep, deep dampening kicks in. That way they can find a kill a little bit later on. Right now, Loveless is trying to be greedy, and it looks like he's going to get away with it. Drainer's still locked down, though, for a couple more seconds, and being greedy could cost them the match. They've already played it out for so long, they don't want to just throw it away. Double tank trinket proc for the side of Daily Feed. That is going to soften them up a bit, moving now closer to 30% dampening. Both healers tied on mana. No advantages in that sense. Right now, I would say that Rezus and Waz are the most likely targets to die within the next minute. However, Loveless is kind of the long game kill target for Method Black. He's easier to hold in place, and they need to stop him from using Healing Surge, and they can do that with Kidney Shot. I, I'm not saying this to, to be cheeky by any means, but this really is kind of where the game does start in, in a certain way right now. With, with these two compositions, yes, we are in 30% dampening, but this is really where it's going to start coming online, and we do see some potential to kill. I mean, look at both of the healers. They are both going to be sitting at, like, 90% mana. 
Well, the biggest issue I have with Daily Feed is that they keep overlapping that Ascendance with that Serenity. You need to force out the Evasion just with the Serenity, and then pop the Ascendance, force out the Iron Bark, and then with the next Serenity, try to go for that kill uh, or tank trinket, depending on what's up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 30% Daphne. We're 9% until the point where this starts to hit critical mass, and it's going to become almost unrecoverable burst. Waz has to trade out evasion. This is very important. This is exactly what daily feed needs to force. 7% more dampening. Next stun lock. Waz can easily disappear from the arena. Loveless is in a great position, still having Astral Shift. Drainer's in a good, good position, still having Trinket and Spirit Link. This game is completely in favor of daily feed, so long as they don't throw it away. Loveless's tank Trinket has proc they need to break up the crowd control. They do manage to do it. That's going to allow Rezus and Loveless now to be free. Touch of Death coming up in two more seconds. Waz in trouble. They forced Iron Bark before it. They've baited every significant defensive cooldown from the team of Method Black. This game is completely in the hands of Daily Feed now. Yeah, Waz could be in a lot of trouble, and that's that vulnerability of the Rogue. Touch of Death gets used by Rezus, activates the Tank Trinket. That should be active in time to reduce the damage of the Touch of Death, but it might fade before. Drainer caught into the Polymorph. <gasps> Loveless in the meantime. Bye! Oh, oh, just my happened. goodness! This is why flirting with dampening is such a scary well, thing. This is why I think Waz has no business on the road here. Like, Waz, yeah. he's an exceptional multi-classer. Play a warrior. There's quite a lot of additional information outside of the series. This wasn't a fresh series, but now in the rematch, are we going to see Daily Feet take an even more commanding win than they took when they knocked Method Black down to the lower portion of the bracket? Are they going to outright eliminate them from the tournament? Are both of Method Black's losses in this tournament going to be to drain to daily feed a team that we weren't even thinking about when we touched down on bfa yeah, and when we saw temple storm play this composition it, it actually felt like daily feed didn't really have a clear win condition with the warrior you're just so tanky if raiku and chaz make sure they're doing a good job with control you see why he, he wants no business with the game right now he's going to be moving away just <laughs> waiting uh, waiting for they, a little they bit got longer. an egg timer on their they, desk for five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> yeah, he, well, here, here's the thing. If Waz pushes in right now, he's not going to really accomplish too much. And then there's always that opportunity for Rezus with the Serenity to close out the game. So if Waz plays it patient, he just waits for Dampening to get higher, waits for Raikou's damage and snares to become effective, uh, then they, they're they in a good spot. They have the, the twos timer right now, Sid. I, I, you know, when you're just waiting for the Dampening to climb up, you go make your... Uh, Make your well, well, snack in the microwave and then come back. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> I mean, there's no advantage to attacking in this position. There's too much healing from Loveless, and there's too many snares from Raikou, and too much healing from Chaz to really get uh, anything going. So it's not surprising to me that either team wants to just wait until dampening. Well, the thing here is that it's essentially a death trap here, right? So if Waz does go behind that pillar, he is going to most likely get stunned out of line of sight, which is going to force Chaz and Raikou to have to come closer to that pillar. And then uh, they're going to not be using this big, big map to their advantage. Instead, they're going to be playing into the strategy of daily feed. You know, of course, daily feed, they don't want to run out in the middle and get spam snared by Raikou. So they're just completely happy waiting behind there. And uh, I think the correct thing to do here is for Method Black to push in. You have Raikou dropping that Blizzard on the left side right there, and then he can go to the right side and drop that Frozen Orb, and then you can have Waz go in, apply some Bleeds, the Deep Wounds, Rend maybe, and slowly start taking down Drainer's Mana like that, because that's a very low-risk uh, play that can just give you a small advantage you may as well use it. Ye old pincer strategy. Exactly. Uh, you go in completely get them boxed in, try to get the damage rolling. But you, you do have to understand on the side of Method Black that hesitation to go for a play like that because it seems risky. It seems like you could get caught behind the pillar and, and maybe have the potential to just take some big rising sun kicks to the face. So, Well, the thing is, Waz is the tank here. He's playing uh, Relentless. He's playing a warrior. He's going to be in D stance. He's not going to get 100 to 0 that quickly. <laughs> oh, my God. That's actually sick. That, was sick. that, that is actually quite This impressive. is why you do don't take backpedal <laughs> off your keyboard. You need it. I've had it bound since day one. Same, actually. My favorite. Same. I get reminded all the time that I still have it bound and I'm using it. <laughs> I've seen, Rich. I've seen. Just because you backpedal doesn't mean you're bad. Backpedaling is actually very strategic. As you can see, some of the best players in the world are currently backpedaling. Well, actually, there is a, a pretty decent advantage to backpedaling at some point. So, for example, if Raikou... Um, 
drops a snare on someone, like let's say he's against a warrior. If Raikou snares Waz, he can stay a little bit outside of his melee range, but not too far away so he can get charged. So he can abuse like that tiny one or two yards. And when you have those big slows as a frost mage, Backpaddling is actually a great way of dealing with that. Another thing is when you're a rogue and you use your evasion, you can get attacked from your back. So backpaddling and hitting someone who's in front of you is a good way to make sure that they're hitting, you know, into the evasion essentially. So there's a couple of moments where backpaddling actually could be good. Yep. And also make sure that you bind slash dance. You can just type it too. Yeah, what, just, yeah. what, what is that dance? Yeah, from? you have the time right now. <laughs> Wait, what is that, that dance from? Isn't that the, the Macarena? Macarena, yeah. Macarena. Yeah. It's an N.A. dance, Sid. You should know that one. Yes, sir. Yeah, even the EU guy on the desk knows that one, Sid. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, Waz is doing something. Is he going to go in and blade storm? I actually want to just go, go, in, go in and see him just drop Whoa, that's a nice mount. blade storm. I like that mount. It's a good mount. I wouldn't even be mad mount? about doing this right now if I was Waz. Wait, is that the new gladiator mount? No, no that's, that's, that's the, the class warrior class order mount. hall. Oh. Yeah. Oops. It's, pretty, it's, still get pretty easy. Stuff, yeah. it's pretty easy to get. Yeah, they didn't take that out of the game. They they only took out the uh, ability to grab those mage. Uh, they didn't take uh, balance of power either. So if you want to get those artifacts. Wait, so you can still get those class mounts from Legion, you mean? Yeah. Oh, awesome. The dragon's got a lot of swag. I think the monk mount is the best. Monk mount is really awesome. That The owl mount. He's the, my best the, friend the priest, again. The priest mount kind of looks like an owl that got kicked in the face. But I, I do like it. The mage mount is like just... This play the Druid mount <laughs> the, is It's an a owl. fidget spinner. The, the mage mount is, is actually a fidget spinner. <laughs> it's the Raikou's it's got the one right now on his the, desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Break out the fidget spinner, boys. Like, oh, wait, they're oh, they're they're doing stuff. They hit each other. They hit each other. Oh, a little bit. Waz, Waz isn't, he's not, he's sort of getting into it. He's got to, he's got to wake up a bit. Okay. The game has started, Tamp, and he's arrived. 3% dampening so. only, though, so we'll have to see how that plays. Waz. I saw a blade sharpened. Yeah, look at Waz just uh, playing in a good spot. Basically, what he's trying to do is make sure Rezus and Loveless have to overextend away from Drainer. And that's ba he needs to continuously do this. Like well, Zico said, it's not a very high risk play, um, and you can get some decent pressure out doing it. And I do want to call one thing out right now. You can see Waz is surrounded by that purple orb. That is going to be Zelzaxis Veiled Eye. It is a tank trinket that drops in Uldir off of Mithrax, the second to last boss. Anytime a player dips below 40% health, when that trinket is equipped, they are going to be getting a shield that reduces incoming damage, and there's going to be oh, an internal right there, cooldown. Loveless. There we go. Everybody's going to be wearing it right now. It is definitely something that has caught on. It's going to have an internal cooldown, though, so it's only going to proc once every two minutes. This is just another thing that players need to be thinking about taking out of their opponent's arsenal because this is going to allow players to extend the time in between their defensive cooldowns. Like Loveless has a wall, for example. That trinket's going to get proc first and in between those walls, which may allow him to actually proc extra walls within a match. So here's an important thing that just happened. This is what Rezus is trying to do. He uses the touch of death over onto Waz, rolls over, incapacitates Chaz, and how Chaz responds is with his Iron Bark. Now, Rezus is freed up to use that Serenity without the Iron Bark available, and that's really when he's going to be able to get out significant pressure. And force the tank to uh, What do you think about Raikou still not playing Glacial? I mean, well, so the thing is, Ray of Frost is kind of good, right? Because it, whenever people have, are trying to go out of line of sight, that Ray of Frost still kicks the out of line of sight and it allows you to still do that damage. But on the flip side, uh, Glacial is kind of nice as well because it just gives you extra control whenever people are crossing the map. Well, I think it's especially good in a situation like this where you're stalling out the game. Eventually, when Drainer's trying to get out of line of sight or Loveless is trying to get out of line of sight, the damage from that Ray of Frost is going to be really, really helpful for Raikou where he doesn't have to overextend or compromise his position. He can just continue to do damage Ooh. with the Ray, with the Frozen Orb. And yeah, it's it's. I, I feel like it's a long game strategy. Waz has been doing a ton of damage, putting Drainer on the back foot, costing him a significant amount of mana. Ooh. Chaz already sitting just at full, I believe. Raikou preemptively using that temp shield, predicting some incoming burst, and just completely negating it. Drainer and Loveless both playing defensive still. It's really difficult for them to go anywhere with Frost Mage snares being so effective. Rez is just getting tied in. Waz is going to pull back and attack him, forcing him to retreat back around the field. Drainer's trying to get a drink, and mana is the name of the game. I'm trying to 
kind of go through the possible win conditions here for daily feed and well, it's, it's still pretty similar to just kill was behind the pillar i don't think it's really much has changed and we have seen just so many times the monk being the key factor as well with that explosive damage that comes from stacking that as a right trade making sure that you're going to be doing the maximum amount of damage with that rising sun kick then we've mentioned this as right trade quite a few times and the ability that they do have to build around it so what is res is actually trying to do with his gear to maximize that damage yeah he's playing this swift roundhouse trait and essentially what it does is your blackout kick empowers your rising sun kick stacking up to two times so if you have the trait three times you can essentially get six of these stacks to increase your rising sun kick to crazy levels right now when you use the serenity and powers it even more and that's where you see all of this damage coming up from from Rezus. I think that the most viable killed options here are going to be Chaz and Raikou. Uh, the problem is, whenever you try to go for Chaz, Waz is going to come in with the fears, with the disarms, with the storm bolt and make your life miserable. Whenever you're trying to reach Raikou, while well, you're playing on the biggest map in the game, so you're not going to be able to kill Raikou. And if you hit Waz, well, you're not going to be able to kill Waz because he's playing human relentless, which means every stun is going to be shorter on him. He is going to be having a passive 20% damage reduction, and he, uh, he has a trinket as well for those really scary moments with that human uh, every man for himself ratio so this is just a tailored counter composition for method black against daily feed and it all they want to do is basically get to that 50 60 70 percent dampening mark and eventually win on oh. mana the way that this game is going, it's just someone on daily feeds inevitably going to die. I don't see any openings for them right now to kill Method Black, which means this is likely going to a game five. And I'm really wondering why Method Black didn't just play this composition to start the entire series. They already saw Tempo Storm just own daily feed yesterday or the day before that. Why wouldn't they just start with this? It looks completely one sided. Chaz can drink whenever he wants. Look at him. He's in the middle of the map. There's no pressure on him. Waz is just tanking them in D stance. Raikou is just free casting whatever he wants. Really, daily feed can't move anywhere. They can't get anything done, and they're just slowly losing the game. I think going into game five, they're going to have to make a comp change. Yeah, or just pick Small a smaller map, map is yeah. going to help. So one of the things you may have noticed on this map, it's a lot different. Chaz, his man is doing quite well, and that's because Loveless and Rezus, they have much less uptime, and they can't bounce around targets nearly as much. The Resto Druid, if he's having to keep hots on himself, on Raikou, on Waz, it's going to be much more difficult for him to manage his mana. In this situation, the only person taking any damage is Waz. Just keep Ooh, full hots on leap. Waz, and you're in a good spot. That leap, he heroic leaped right before the stun hit him, and just took zero damage. It's a nice move by Waz. Now he's getting aggressive, going after Drainer gunning down with a sharpened blade. Drainer's going to trade quite effectively here with his defensives. Should allow him to at least restabilize, but maybe not top off. We're reaching that 40% critical mass moment. Drainer is completely a viable kill target right now, as well as Rezus with no trinket. Rezus is finally getting aggressive, going after Raikou, already taking him down to about half HP by himself. And I'm I'm actually a pretty big fan about the split DPS strategy. Chaz can only have life bloom on one target. That's a really powerful heal over time effect. So if you're hitting two targets he's only healing one of them with that he'll have to change it a lot it's going to cost him a lot of mana splitting could be the tactic that daily feed need to implement on this map for victory yeah it definitely could work the only problem with it is i've been in Rezu's position before you're just in the middle of the map with the resto druid and a frost mage just controlling you up and there's really not a whole lot you can do about it with loveless and drainer behind the pillar the only thing he can do to stop that is the spear hand strike normally caught in a root or the incapacitate on chas but that has a very long cooldown so you're kind of at the mercy of the enemy team and now at 42 percent Damp, and you can see Method Black has completely stabilized 100% HP on everyone. Chaz's man is doing fine. Rezus, Loveless, they're rotting down a little bit. And as we get higher and higher in dampening, it's going to be very scary. And we actually saw Temple Storm in this same situation bring the game to 63 or 64% dampening, which is just insane. All right, touch of death from Rezus. He needs to get something done with this. He's going after Waz. They really need to pull Die by the Sword if they want to kill Waz later on, but they're not even getting that. Waz saw the cooldown committed, retreated away. Chaz just trades Iron Bark and he easily recovers. Now that that threat is basically thwarted, Daily Feet are going to be in trouble. Waz can really lead the charge. Nice wind shear on that Ray of Frost, instantly breaking up the damage as Daily Feet duck for cover. Yeah, Waz still right there, playing point guard for his team, making sure Rezus and Loveless can't really push out, and he's just tanking all of this damage. That's really one of the strengths of the Warrior. Rezus now caught into a stun. A lot of damage coming in from Raikou and Waz. Trading out the touch of Karma, and at 50% dampening, we might not see another Karma. Waz is going to be taking some damage here. Chaz needs to throw out the heals. He leaps away, allowing those heal over time effects to really sink in. This is oh, a oh, 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 point. Way too oh. late. 
Well, it was Whoa. such a close call for Waz there. Die by the sword and the Iron Rocker trade out just because they did not respect the Serenity. They needed to preemptively use one of those cooldowns. And now that's why they're in a scary Dude, spot. They keep doing this. They, they choke through Veiled Eye. They didn't get the cooldown. Now Waz die. is still in danger. They have double he's burn. actually going to die. No mobility. If they stay on him, he's dead. It, it, Chaz is nothing. Waz is just going to die. Method this Black is, are going to go home. No. What on just, earth? What? This is completely one-sided. The entire game as Waz hangs on by a thread at 51% dampening. This is their tournament lives on the line. Chaz can't handle it. He's spamming regrowth, but it's not enough to clone Rezzers at low health. Waz is just bouncing, dampening so high he can't top him. Rezzers could die out of this clone as well. Raku landing a lot of polys on Drainers. Could potentially be a cross kill again to catch the stun on Waz. He's got Iron Bark for it, but Rezzers is trying to go for a ray of frost. They storm out Rezzers. There's nothing left for him. Drainer gets fully cloned and Method Black. Managed to stay alive, bringing it to game number five. Ooh, that was scary there towards the end. That would have been a bit of a choke. If, if. Well, it was. I, uh, to be frank, it was a bit of a choke. Method Black way underreacted to that situation. You can't wait the entire. I think right now, with this warrior build that's going to focus on that overpower damage, is, is basically it is more overall sustained damage, which I don't even know if it is after the nerf, but I, I believe that's the, the op, what they're operating off of. And then in dampening, just having that long sustained damage eventually they're expecting drainer to run out of mana the other build would be to go for more of those avatars more of those bursty places to find kills i'm expecting to see that overpower build again. i don't even think you spec the avatar this game yeah so it below his frame yeah so, yeah which is surprising it was there at the beginning and then it kind of jumped off on us but we will see as the match starts what route Waz is going for here. We expect it to be a relatively slow start again, though. You can see, look, Rezus put his port in the middle of the map. That's a trap. He wants to port out, get an incapacitate on Chaz, and they can do that all in. At least that's what I would expect with that kind of port positioning. So Chaz and Raikou, they need to play around that. They can't fall for that trap, or Rezus is going to be able to set him up quite nicely. And we've seen Daily Feed go all in on Chaz already two times before this. Chaz seems like he's ready for it. He's in bare form, sidestepping back and forth, like, I'm ready, I'm ready. Now going back to the boxes, Waz Heroic looping back up, Raikou blinking back as they are just trying to create distance. Rezu's getting a nice ride the wind. Loveless opting to not use the ride the wind. He's just walking really slowly back. So that's a big mistake by Loveless. He just traded his spirit walk instead of just going in the ride the wind. Yeah, a little bit of a misplay there. Incapacitate now on Chaz. Waz playing defense, realizing the situation. Raikou could be in some trouble. And now on this map, You'll notice that Daily Feed, they're not afraid to get aggressive very early on. There's not nearly as much room for Method Black to stall at the game and kite away. The uptime of Daily Feed is going to be a little bit higher. Uh, an interesting thing that I noticed here by Raikou is that he's playing the Concentrated Coolness, uh, which is a talent that most recently got nerfed. Uh, and when Alec played uh, against Daily Feed, when Tempo Storm played them, uh, and they played this matchup, he wasn't playing that Concentrated Coolness. Instead, he was playing with that orb that you have to shoot out. Uh, and we did see that Zarya orb come in uh, at one point as well when that, during that match. But... Um, uh, I think that what he trades out is the concentrated coolness for the frostbite and I think the frostbite could potentially be kind of nice actually in a matchup like this where you want to play the big blizzard and then you play the frostbite and you just uh, get even more annoyance essentially for this enhance and that windwalker. What do you think of that Ben? Well, I, I generally don't like Frostbite that much. Just because with the pet you have now available to you, Pet Nova, you have regular Nova. If you throw a Blizzard down and it procs Frostbite on Rezus three times, all of a sudden you can't effectively Nova him at all. You don't have Ice Nova as well. So I think it's a strategy that, like you said, could be ultra annoying, but it could also potentially backfire. Yeah, uh, dropping his Earthen Shield preemptively, but nobody was really there. So that cooldown's basically wasted. I don't think it's going to come at too much of a consequence this far away from dampening. The only thing it could cost him is more mana to heal through this swap that is occurring now on Rezus. And Loveless also getting cleaved from the Blade Storm. Drainer's going to spend his time casting healing waves rather than healing surges to try and extend that mana. If Drainer has full mana in deep dampening, they definitely can win the game with spam purge on Waz. At the end of the last game, Drainer was out of mana if he had even. 50%, that could have been enough. Was mounting up to get back onto target. Raikou just taking control of Rezus, trying to slow down the game. Both teams just playing that stall tactic until we get into dampening. So uh, what Chaz is doing is actually so clever. He keeps, every time Rezus walks up to close to him to put down a portal, so he can do that port incapacitate setup that uh, Venrico was talking about earlier. Sense. 
That was a beautiful Vortex pulling Loveless downstairs inside of that Frozen Or Rezu's getting pulled down oh, by the Vortex no. as well. That's an MVP placement as a restaurant. Oh, Frostbite. Yeah, Frostbite, he's playing it. He's yeah. playing it. That's, that's so annoying, like Rezu. He uses Serenity, he gets Vortex down out of line of sight, then he rolls over and gets Frostbitten on that. That's like, as a Windwalker Monk, I would just be pulling out my hair at that point. You basically aren't going to have good damage for another minute until that Serenity's up, so well, that's about easily that, able to deflect that's that. That's one of the reasons why I was wondering about the Frostbite, because I really do think that it's so nice when the Frostbite procs on people who are charging, using their rolls, using that mobility, because it just completely stops them dead in their tracks, and especially against those Windwalkers uh, who have a lot of that uh, mobility, it just shuts them down completely. But I wonder, what does he actually trade out for the Frostbite then? Perhaps the Burst of Cold? Yeah, could be the Burst of Cold, but that is also a really good talent. Yeah. Uh, that's like one of my favorite talents. Raikou actually taking a lot of Burst once again. He has to blink away. And like you were mentioning earlier, Zico, I, I don't think Raikou is a bad target. Like, I think they can get on Raikou, especially later on. They have a lot of ways to slow down his damage with double Wind Shear, double Grounding, and put out a lot of Burst. It really... Go ahead. I'm just gonna say, I think Loveless is playing Shamanism, so he can actually use Bloodlust this time in Arena. He wasn't playing that in any of the other games, and I think he knows the only way they win is by one-shotting Waz at 50% dampening, and Bloodlust is gonna increase the likelihood that he can do it. I'm almost curious if he hasn't pressed it on purpose, if he's just holding it so that they aren't ready for it when 50% dampening hits, and we've seen oh. what happens at 50% dampening. Method Black isn't usually ready. Another Frostbite on the roll, sorry. I'm, uh, I'm counting them this time around. Uh, I actually, I think Raikou is a decent target, but the problem is they have so many defensives they have to chunk through. They have to go through the Human Racial, the Temporal Shield, the Iron Bark, and then they start forcing out those blocks. And with Loveless playing that um, uh, Ascendance, I just don't see them being able to force through all of that unless they can get some of that work done before dampening. I think it's almost too late at this point to start trying to kill Raikou. I would much rather see them abuse the small map and try to gun for Chaz and get one of these big leg sweeps with Serenity, get him to 20% and then just chase him down and spam purge. Drainer is using his whole mana bar trying to electrocute him down. Yeah, but I don't think it's worth doing it yet. No, no, no. I I, that's the name of the game. Drainer wants to have as much mana as possible at 50% dampening. Yeah. So doing it now, not getting a kill, means he has less to use when he can get a kill. Agreed. So they're just using everything defensive. Wait till they get to that point, and then, yeah, they could run at Chaz. Waz is the safer target, I think, but Chaz might not be ready for it, and he could easily die through Bark Skin at that deep of dampening. And Loveless hasn't used Bloodlust the entire game. And that's on purpose, I think, because he hasn't played the talent the entire series. It, they're they're looking for some surprises, and they have another surprise in store for Method Black. I, I've been informed that both Rezus and Loveless are using buttons. that big red yeah. button. <laughs> so they're saving that. That's going to be a significant amount of burst. You can read about it below. Uh, it's basically a trinket that is an active that does a ton of damage. And if Loveless and Rezus can activate that at the same time, they can surprise Method oh. Black and have that little bit of oh. extra burst. Here comes no, you got to stop right here. Okay, nice. They get to this spell. They Get the stop, and Chas has to trink it out. If they can proc the tank trinket on Chas now, next go, he is finished. I think they did it too soon. I think they did it too Wait, soon as it? well. They, they used a big, big red, red button. button. Oh, they used no. bloodlust. They, what? It's only 13% okay. dampening, guys. I'm going to be honest. Big red button is good. Yeah. Everybody who has used it has been bad. Like, we have just seen the worst big red buttons. It was the one hope to have these explosive finishes, and everybody has just misused it. Well, I, I really feel like with a trinket like that, it should be used as almost like an execute. Yeah, you know, it's that little exactly. bit of execute. You don't use it early on. It's like you nope. use that tank trinket, you use, uh, you know, Serenity, you use everything. Chaz is like, okay, well, great. You've used everything. I'm happy with using everything. But, There's no surprise factor And also, anymore. with the current meta, you need to be sure that you pulled Veiled Eye already. Like, yes. it's just something that you need to be working around. It's a two-minute ICD. You already know that. You wait for it, and you just count in your head to 120, and you, you make sure you don't push Veiled Button. It, oh, my goodness. That was a good setup, but they just they didn't need to press every button. They could have just pressed half of the buttons. Put, push the big, trinket you, already. They, they sat on Big Red Button until 15% dampening. You're not going for maximum uptime. Use that global as the kill shot. Use it as the execute, as Ven Ruki said. Don't use it as your opener for damage when you haven't even already connected as a melee. And, and it makes no sense. Also, they use used it in a situation where people were stacked on chest and when you stack you actually soak the damage which means that oh. you actually reduce the damage and instead it hits everybody so instead of hitting one player for 20k it will hit three players for 20k and it will be like 7k each 
Jax is just another. Well, I guess they're just going to all well, in Chaz. Jax is not playing the they, tank trigger team. They've decided the to just go all in. Will Chaz be able to choke? It's match point. He jumps back upstairs. Waz leaps to try and snare them. It's great kiting from Chaz. Really good use of this map throughout this entire match using Nurse's Vortex, pulling people downstairs, using the wild charge to jump to a teammate and get to safety. That was a very scary moment for him, and he completely got away with it with ease, making it look like it was easy. Now Loveless dipping low and Drainers on the back foot. They didn't get the kill on the surprise attack. Chaz knows that's available now. They didn't get it on the follow-up. And now they're just behind Ven. Yeah, they are. Loveless still, he's going to be running away. We're at 25% dampening. This is when it starts getting a little bit taxing for these healers. And Chaz looking like he was going to go for a drink, but opting not to. He doesn't want to fall behind on healing. Rezus looking for the incapacitate. Oh. Is this another? Is it going to be another setup? Touch of Death gets activated, but unfortunately, Chaz, he actually, they got the trigger from Chaz. Loveless in a lot of trouble, though. Astral Shift gets traded out. Polymorph on Drainer into a full Cyclone. Loveless, that is it. And Method Black, they come back in this series. That was a really, really nice setup. Push the eject button there. It's not going to work. <laughs> We're going to feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.